What's up, y'all? We have an unboxing. Un un we have an unboxing today. Yay! It's a. It's a box. for a good shipping box, didn't it? So let's see what we have today. I'm going to make a video out of this. You can probably figure it out by the title of the video. We have some file bars that we have to put in. Let's see, what's that? Packing. Packing. No shredded invoices, but shredded cardboard. Where is cardboard? See what's in here? Oh, holy, holy, holy moly. Holy moly. We have a couple of Abus four drawer filing bar, file bars. And I've actually got one of these that's already open, so uh, we're going to take a look at it, and then we're going to go put it in. i got to put those two in and out. And of course, you know, we don't get many calls for these, but I'll try to keep uh, at least one on hand in case, like, there's a file cabinet with a broken lock and they have to get it. i got a bunch of little boxes. <laughs> i got a bunch. I got a bunch of little boxes. Actually, those may come in handy. Ah, ha, ha. What else? Okay. And uh, padlocks, because you got to have padlocks. And, and I don't have any, uh, I don't have any master padlocks. I'm trying to push away from it, but they're the cheapest solution for these file bars. And I'm actually going to show you my, the one that I have. I'll put it on. It's, there's a couple of different brands of these. This is the Avis brand. There's some padlocks. What else we got? HD 103. Put all this back in here. We have a couple of GTI chips. Yay! And that's all they had. Uh, we've got a box of Schlage Neuterbell. A couple of bags of HD 103. A bunch of pieces of cardboard. A bunch of packing type material. And, uh, and a bunch of little empty boxes. These are good little empty boxes, though. I'm definitely going to use these for something. Ooh. Ooh. I can definitely use those empty boxes for something. Uh, and some key releases, which, which we're going to go, we're going to go hang up uh, right now. Actually, then we're going to talk about the Avis file bars. I've got one over here. Already the one that I'm actually going to carry all three with me just in case. Just in case. But again, we'll go ahead and get that up. Those are the crappiest, crappiest scissors ever.
I didn't want to have to bend down to pick that up. may remember I just added these and uh, at the time I didn't add these nickel plated ones because I just got these and nobody's bought one yet dang it okay back to the other thing well actually let's go do this real quick Padlocks, big deal. Big deal, master padlocks. I actually just emptied a box of these, and uh, that, that I was, I had like this many in the box, and then and then I had this many on the racks, so and now there's now there's that many. I could, you know, I could go ahead and I guess I, I guess I can. I guess I can. Eleven four five. I love LSDA's neuter valve blanks. <laughs> Ah, it doesn't smell like anything. So I'm going to take a little handful of these and go ahead and rotate. What do you think? It's going to take about 20, right? About 20 of them? That's what I'm thinking. So we'll go ahead and hang just a few of, let's see, three, four, five, six, six. No. Eight, nine, ten. I don't think twenty will fit. Let's say let's say fourteen. Is that fourteen? Yeah, that's about right. No, oh, I could have fit a few more, but that's alright. Ooh, the box almost came apart on me. The glue came apart right there. Uh, we're gonna put up these HD one oh threes real quick. Actually ordered some rubber head version two, but they did not have any rubbers. No HD one oh three rubbers. Which is just depressing. Somewhere down here we had one fall, which is, which is, I think it went in the plastic bucket right here. Yep, here it is. <laughs> okay. This is the I believe Major, Major makes this one. Uh, but this is what a file bar is. It's got these little, little tabs that screw into the frame. And you have these little, these little hook things right here. And hook and, and see when you, when you raise and lower this, it should get power and lower. So, so basically you would just take it, slap it over like that. Like that, see how it's boom and then push down uh, and then and then you can't, can't open the door and to lock it you would just put it a good uh, at least a 5 16 shackle because when you lift it up it's got to block it from, from coming all the way up so that's 
That's how that works. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and lock it now. And on cabinets that are not really set up for locks, like this Remington Rand, uh, it, it works perfect. I mean, it is what it is. It kind of sucks having it flip out, you know, and having to deal with it. The Avis version, instead of having this tab at the top, uh, which can get bent, some people don't like that, it has a little slide right in the middle. And uh, I'll go ahead and take one out, but look, we have, uh... oh yeah, I did have installation instructions. So, installation instructions. In a matter of minutes, the Avis file bar can be installed without opening the file or disturbing its contents. The knob can be reversed to permit installation either to the right or left hand side of the cabinet. Number one, attach knob onto inner bar with screw. I can't see. Okay. If the bar is going to be installed on the left hand side of the cabinet, the stop on the handle should be facing upward. Note, make sure the alignment pin on the knob is secure in the inner bar. Number two, drill a hole on the front of the cabinet using a 0.104 diameter bit. Ugh. The hole should be five and an eighth from the top and, and a quarter. To, now that, just screw that, forget that. Install the sheet metal screws provided to secure the bar in place. Do not use pan head or round head screws. Apostrophe, apostrophe, apostrophe. Using the hinge as a locator, drill the remaining holes. Screw remaining sheet metal screws while keeping the hinges firmly placed it. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever, freaking instructions. We don't listen to instructions. So we're gonna pop this guy out and see the difference in it and the one that I've got on my cabinet over there. So once you take it out of the plastic, we have the knob right there, right there, the knob. We've got a couple of little packs of screws, it's just like that. And, uh, and then so we have this place to put this knob. So that knob, it goes in just like that, just like that. And you, uh, you screw it on before you do anything. So you gotta kind of figure out what you're doing first. Uh, and basically this knob does the same as that other thing. It just lets you uh, lift it up and down from the inside instead of from the top. Uh, so then, so then when we push this, so push this up, ready, ready, ready. Boing! I know that was loud. So basically, let's go ahead and pull this out. You go up to the bar, whatever the directions say, just don't believe it. Go up to the cabinet, figure out which way it's gonna be. So if we're putting it, if we're putting it this way, on the left-hand side, we would, we would do that. If we're putting it on the right-hand side, we do that, and, and, and that's why there's, that's why there's three holes here, is because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put the, it's got a, it's got a little peg right there, so you can either put it on this way or this way, either which way. Uh, but basically, you just, just take this, and say we're putting it on this side of the cabinet, find your spring hinge right there, put it up there, make sure that there's, there's enough room between that and where the drawer opens up, mark mark drill a hole put a screw in you just want to do one screw to begin with once you get that one screw you want to let it kind of kind of like swing on the cabinet make sure make sure all the other ones are uh, able to be the drawers are able to be cleared and then once you do that you just go uh, you mark and mark mark and then mark mark and then mark mark drill the rest of your holes which we will hopefully do but that's, that's all there is to it. These are fairly easy to put on, so not that big of a deal. Hopefully I'll get some pictures from the scene because I have to go tomorrow morning and put two of these guys on. And, and another thing, these are gonna be going on lateral cabinets, which are big, wide cabinets. Uh, you know, sometimes you can still like yank open one side if the, if the doors are really wide. So this is not a surefire thing to put on. Like this is not a total answer. It, it may work. It works, you know, 80% of the time you can make it work on most filing cabinets because they all have a frame of some kind. Uh, uh, but I guess we'll just see. Anyway, that is that. 
We're going to put on the high security master locks, security level, whatever this is, security level 8,000, commercial grade <laughs> master locks. So we're going to take a couple of those with us as well. I don't know how many keys they need, but uh, we'll take take all these with us and all three bars so that is it really uh there we go just uh that's it if i put in not 100 percent sure i'll be able to get any extra footage if so i'll at least take a picture or something and and show you but i mean they're fairly easy to put on it's like eight holes a lot of the times i'll actually use rivets believe it or not even though it says do not use it doesn't say do not use rivets it just says do not use do not use pan or uh round head screws because it'll stick up but I've used rivets a lot for those because those little sheet metal screws just loosen and, and get loose. And if you pop rivet it in, it's not really going to get loose. So uh, anyway, if I put a picture, I do. If I don't, I don't. If you have any questions or comments on this, uh, then just post them in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, y'all.
Anyway, that's it. Now you see how those how those go on and, and what they are and what they do and what they're for. But anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section. I'm going to go deal with this problem.